welcome back to WP Event Manager. In today's video, we're gonna talk about how our Zoom add-on works with our WP Event Manager's registration add-on alongside with our WP Event Manager's core plugin. So what is our registration add-on? The registration add-on allows us to extend our core plugin's functionalities so we can actually go ahead and accept registration for the event directly in the site without using any in email registration or like using any third party form for it so for this add-on we don't really have any configuration process you just install it and activate your license and of course there's some settings you can tweak and customize as per your needs and after that it's pretty straightforward the registration add-on will let users register for an event using email and name and there's a setting if you turn it on then they don't have to use their name and email but it will turn off the anonymous uh, registration only where they can register for the event if they are logged in into the site and then the plugin will fetch their default name and email address for the registration so to demonstrate this let's go ahead and add a meeting first So this is our meeting submission page we have already made a video about how you can actually add meetings and what this all fails here all settings does and how you can tweak them to get what changes so i am not going to go over and explain this all uh, in this video so i'm gonna just fill these details as of now so i have filled all the necessary details for our meeting here so Let's go ahead and publish this meeting. And then next, we're gonna go ahead and add an event for this meeting to bind with. So if we select event manager, then click on add new. Here we have our event submission page. We explained this page as well in our previous videos. So you can always go ahead and check those videos for explanation about all the settings and all the stuffs over here. And let me go ahead and fill this event details form so i have filled all the details required for an event and we have also selected a zoom meeting to bind with our event and we're gonna publish this event as of now we hit publish publish again and let's open this link so here we have our event details single page so this is our standard event details page where we have our event title our event banner our event name organizer details and, and we have our meeting details registration button in this sidebar and just right below that we can see we have all our meeting details as well such as countdown timer home, date and time and time zone and duration so let us register for this event so click on here and then here And it says your event registration has been submitted successfully so now let's go to our event dashboard to see uh, what we have there of course we will have this event and we are expecting some changes of course so I'm gonna go ahead and show you what changes we have there and as a pre disclaimer um, this event registration the plugin it does work on the back end as well but the changes our zoom add-on brings to this registration plugin that's not really visible on the back end like it's really cosmic changes so that's why i'm gonna go ahead and show you what changes it brought uh, in the front end side so let's head over to our event dashboard and here we have our all the event listed over here in this table so if you remember correctly last time when we visited this page in this table we the table was ended after the action row but now we have an extra row called registration of course because we installed the registration add-on for our wp event manager score plugin and below that we see the number one because we are the only one who registered for the event so so let me click over here and show you how the registration list page looks on the front end so here we have our registration attendees or the registration listing page here we have our attendees down here on the table and there we have our registered attendee that 
us obviously and we can see our attendees name the attendee status and we have some buttons to check the attendee in and I will see our date our action buttons in this action button we have our edit button if we click over here we're gonna see a drop down if we click in this drop down we can select from our four different registration status to set from once new once confirmed another's waiting cancelled and archived if we select one and then click save changes it's gonna change the status for this attendees registration so this registration uh, status are pretty self-explanatory and then next to our edit button we have our note button if we click over here and this area we can write up the notes and save it for this attendee then we have the mail button this is a one-click email which we can send to the attendees email address using our systems uh, default email app and then we have the details button here we can see the full details here we can see the attendees name and email if any custom field you have which we didn't configure in this video but you will be able to see any custom field if we have uh, enabled or configured them in the back end for the registration plugin and then we have the zoom button of course this is cause our zoom add-on if we click over here we can see the we can see the meeting details for the uh, attendee this is like pretty much standard meeting details not like any joining link and stuff meet just such as meeting title meeting description time zone date and times so on let's head over to our meeting dashboard and let's see what we have there so in this page uh, if we remember correctly last time as well we saw stable is ending with the action row but here two we have a new row called registration as we saw in the event dashboard so pretty much same thing we have our registration counter if we click over here this brings us back to the events registration listing page so here this is the same page we visited earlier using the registration link on our event dashboard so we can do the same things over here like see details edit details mail them and see meeting details such as let me show you another amazing feature here it logs the registrations or the attendee inside the zoom dashboard as well under the meeting uh, they are attending or they are uh, checking in for so what i mean by that uh, let me show you but before that i have created few more uh, registration or attendees over here so i have opened my zoom dashboard over here as you can see i am on the meeting section and here we have our meeting with registration so if i click here and go inside the meeting if i scroll down here so here we have our registration uh, section over here and we have manage attendees uh, and our registrants it counts five so i have actually uh, registered myself five times uh using different email ids and stuff uh for this demonstration so if we click view and here we have our registrants for meeting with registration we have our registrants name our registrants email address and registration date by the way a beforehand working to make this work you actually need a paid zoom account uh or a paid plan with zoom and one more thing to keep in mind is when you are creating the meeting for the event you have to tick the box which states requires registration and when we do that and create the meeting and publish it and then bind it with an event whenever an event registration happens it will also like log the registrant or the attendee inside zoom's dashboard as well so if you are confused what i'm talking about or what was this regist required registration checkbox was all about i highly suggest you go ahead and watch our previous video regarding how to add a zoom meeting using wp admin dashboard in there we explained its settings in details so that will give you a bit more context about what we are talking about here so let's close this tab so when working with our registration add-on our zoom add-on brings another changes over here that we cannot actually see on the front end but for that we have to go to the back end side so let's go to our dashboard then if we come over here at event registration 
then under registration forms and let us switch to this organizer notification and now if you look closely we can see some short codes on our right hand side where uh, we can see some short codes such as meeting name meeting description meeting start date meeting start time meeting time zone duration and join url let me explain what this notification is and what is the short codes and what purpose it serves so this is a mail template and this gets triggered when a um, registration happens in the front end side our plugin what it does it sends a notification mail to the organizer and another mail to the attendee so the, there's two different mail template we can use this is our organizer notification template and this is if we come over here this is our attendee notification template you can turn off the attendee notification from the settings so we have done that over here as well as of now so let's switch back to organizer notification here we can see our basic notification template so what we can do we can actually copy one of the short code and we can actually paste over here with an appropriate text and uh, so using this meeting short codes we can include the meeting details or data inside this um, notification email so when a registration happens user or the attendee and the organizer as well gets the meeting details with the registration details as well this is a subtle feature we have when our zoom uh, add-on works with our event registration plugin so and being that said we are pretty much at the end of the video and that's how our uh, zoom add-on works with our event registrations in harmony i hope you enjoyed this video as much as we did making it uh, leave a like if you liked it a sub to the channel would be more amazing and thank you for watching i'll catch you in the next one